Alright guys, welcome back to Mass Defect uh, 2, uh, and we're gonna go... Grabbing cover. We'll stay close. Sorry, I, I pressed E just because I forgot what game I was playing. I forgot the space bar is the magical key for everything. Whoa! Nice. Uh, how, how, how much worse can I make this? One sec, how did I do that last time? Yeah, there we go. <laughs> All right. How much worse can I make this? Bug tested by me. Yeah, seems good. Nah, nah, Garris, I gotta fucking hang out here. Okay, so it looks like... So if I do this again, and I go a little bit this way, it kind of brings me up into the wall, but... It's like, yeah, you guys, they, they, they'll do the combat, I'm going to do the more important stuff. So let's, tr let's try this. I'm trying to see if I can get out of bounds here. Like, you gotta think to yourself, how fucking janky is this system here? Fuck, guys, you really need my help. Uh, I, mean, I, didn't get, I didn't go up to it last time. All right, and we go this way every time. I don't know how I don't know how long I'm gonna fuck around with this. To be honest, maybe maybe if I go right on the corner. All right. Oh, okay. So I'm actually not really going up anymore. It's the camera angle, I think. And I I look pretty I look pretty much higher than them right now. Yeah, I'm like I'm right on the ceiling too. Oh, uh, I almost glitched it out. I'm very close. I'm very close, guys. I was almost stuck up there. Alright. Oh, man. I, I just want to bring myself up there. I don't know if I even saved it before I started doing this. Okay, now we did. Now, now we can continue. Alright, I don't know how much more I'm going to fuck around with this, to be honest. Because it may not be a place I can glitch out. But just know, if you're the kind of person that loves game glitches... Uh, right here is the sweet spot. Alright, we're done. I'm not sure why, like, nobody ever thought I, that I would ever take cover on the wall that's just before a big open area. But yeah. Well, that was fucking three minutes of your life wasted on me just fucking... <laughs> fucking around on the on the top there. There you go. Gunship above! Oh, good, good, good cover. Look, look at this. Oh, can I, can I hit him? I mean, I'm kind of shooting through wall here. Let's let's try this out. He has to bring himself into a position over here. What? How is that where I'm aiming? Look. <laughs> if he if he goes like over there, I might be able to shoot him. I'm trying to. Man, why is it no fun allowed? You guys want to open fire on the gunship? Why do my squad mates suck? Like they don't even shoot after after anybody but myself. And how's it consider this to be like a? Uh, we let's go over here. All right, let's try. Let's try this again. What the fuck? Oh, Garrus is beside me. Garrus, you're ruining the glitch. Fuck! I can't even do it again. Is he done? Yeah, he's invulnerable. Need to destroy gunship before hacking door. I mean. Lord and I turned off the ability for uh, this shit taking too too much time. The mini game, the mini game won't take any time at all, Lord. You guys want to open fire on that thing? Flashbang out. 
fuck I missed. I'm, I bet it would have been useful. Okay, that's kind of that may be a problem. Flashbang! Damn it! Fuck, I'm actually out of ammo. Alright. What? I killed it with a flashbang! I think I killed it because I, I fucking missed here and it was flying over me. Alright. It was a probably, but if I probably look at that, maybe maybe one of them shot it. Does, does the flashbang actually do damage? Dude, that's gonna be like the ultimate meme if I actually did that. Fuck. Yeah, I'll just play that off like I meant to do that. Shepard's a baller, fuck. Alright. Yeah, like, like like I thought. You need to kill the gunship before hacking the door. This looks like a shipping manifest. It shows the Pitney 4 sold 2,000 units of Minigen X3 to the Eclipse. Along with 600 units of red sand. Not what Samara seeks, but proof that the Volus is a criminal. I'm sure Detective and I would be interested in this. Let's worry about that after we find the ship name. Is that anything? No, it's just credits. Worthless credits. I am a biotic god. I think things, and they happen. Fear me, lesser creatures. For I am biotics made flesh. I don't know what drugs you're on, but stay back and I won't shoot you. You will regret your scandalous words. I am a great wind that will sweep all before me like a... A great wind. A great biotic wind. Yes, the Asari injecting so many drugs into me was terrifying. But then I began to smell my greatness. They may laugh when I fall over, but they don't know what I know in my head. That I know that I am amazingly powerful. Fear me! Are you part of Pitney Forest Trade Group? When I was mortal, I worked for Pitney. Poor soul is probably terrified that I have not returned. He hasn't reported your disappearance. Probably so his departure will get delayed. Pitney picks money over friends. Unsurprising. Bah! I will wreak a just revenge upon his people. But first, the leader of these mercenaries is in the next room. I shall toss Wasaya about like a rag doll. Shepard, this guy couldn't tie his bootlaces, much less fight. I will tear her apart. My biotics are unstoppable. Charge. An ill wind blows upon Wasaya, captain of the Eclipse Sisters. After me! Unfortunate. <laughs> oh, come on, Warden. Don't you like memes? I guess there's another opportunity to get the assault rifle if you didn't get it before, because they gave me two opportunities to get the outlast sniper, apparently. Everything's gone to hell since we smuggled that filthy creature off-world. First a Justicar shows up, now you. 
At least I can take pleasure in turning your head into a poopy mask! <laughs> <laughs> Well, time to bring out the good old rifle. And stay down. Come on, ladies. Heavy weapon. From helping the Justicar. Well, the problem is I can't really see through here, but they can see me. Her. Fuck. Ah, oh, well, that's a lot of boxes. Oh, I should have tried to kill her with a flashbang. The hell? Nice. Also, it's not much of a boss fight when you're playing a sniper. <laughs> I can't do much. Uh, do you have uh, any shit here? Oh, no, you don't. I think one of them lived, though. I need targeting assistance. It's a lot of uh, barrels. Likely the ship named Samara requires. Likely where? Oh. Uh, Somewhere around here. And the things that I can't move. Uh, it doesn't look like that's the way forward, though. It's probably on the data pad by her desk. I'm not sure why the objective said it was that way. Uh, just goes here, probably looking for the one we sent off. The AML diameter. Happy to see her ghost. She'll be the bone. I hope that the discard doesn't mess up my operation. That must be the ship Samara was looking for. Want to head back now, or look around first? Let's give her the name and keep moving. Alright. I wanted to be a Justicar when I was young. Every sorry does, I guess. I've got the name of the ship. Your fugitive left here two days ago on the AML Demeter. Shepard, you impress me. You fulfilled your part of the bargain, and I will fulfill mine. I am ready to leave immediately, if that will satisfy your superiors, Detective. You're free to go, Justicar. It has been an honor having you in my station. And it's nice you didn't kill me, too. You're sworn to follow a code that dictates your decisions. But I'm running a military operation. You wonder if I will refuse to follow orders because of my code? I can't allow that to happen. By agreeing to follow you, I am compelled to sway the most difficult of Justicar oaths, the third oath of subsumation. After I do, your orders will override the code. You should know, however, that I'll still give you my opinion if the situation warrants. The Normandy is docked near the main trading floor. I'll see you aboard. I must be sworn to your service, so that I am never forced to choose between your orders and the code. By the code, I will serve you, Shepard. Your choices are my choices. Your morals are my morals. Your wishes are my code. I never thought I'd see a Justicar swear an oath like that. If you make me do anything extremely dishonorable, I may need to kill you when I'm released from my oath. Now you have to do whatever I tell you? I am sworn to you. Do not make more of it than that. Shall we return to your ship? I need to speak to the detective. Thanks for getting Samara out of my district. I can tell my granddaughters about meeting a Justicar. And you've just upped my chances of living long enough to have grandkids. This evidence names the murderer. Turns out basic police work isn't so hard. You just have to leave the station. 
I'll keep that tip in mind. Now, what have you got there? Interesting. But I can't verify it. It would be inadmissible. I vouch for Shepard, and any evidence he brings forward. I accept the judgment of the Justicar. You're not big on the charm, but you get the job done, and I'm old enough to appreciate that. Never heard of this Elnora. Sounds like she was just starting her career. Good thing you cut it short. Okay, enough with all the congratulations. I've still got a spiraling crime rate. I have proof that Pitney Four smuggled in red sand and illegal weapons tech. I'll send in some officers to arrest him and his cohorts. This is a big help, Shepard. I can't do much to thank you, but we do have a small discretionary bounty fund. Take this. I'll be on my way. Can't say I'm sorry to see you go, but good luck. I am ready to leave, if you are. Shall we return to your ship? I'd like to look around a bit first. Very well. All right, I am going to go. Uh, well, I'm going to see the, the this guy. I'm still grounded. What's going on? Guess nothing is going on. All right, can we? Is there a way to go back that isn't going back to Normandy? Because I kind of want to do Liara's shit. I guess the answer to that is no. No, there isn't. All right, we got to leave through Samara, I guess. Shall we return to your ship? Let's go. Let's go, Cleavage. Alright, uh, fuck. Assault rifle, whatever. Welcome to the Normandy, Samara. We've studied your profile extensively. With your skills, I think you'll be an excellent addition to our team. Thank you. From an organization such as yours, that is high praise indeed. With what we're planning, we need all the experienced people we can get. We still don't know what we're going to find when we hit the Collectors. I will be prepared for whatever we encounter. Where shall we put you? A room that looks out on the great empty void would be most comforting. Put her in the observation room on deck three. Thank you. I must meditate on the day's events. Fucking Jacob. Who, who told you you can go out of the fucking cargo hold? Please, door. Alright. We need some research. Uh, none of this. Actually, why can't I do the other researches here? Uh. Armor upgrades, biotic damage. I mean, it's worthless for me, but whatever. Uh, weapon upgrades, SMG extra rounds, sure. That basically it. Yeah, I guess that's it for now. Or I guess biotic duration. Whatever. <laughs> I don't care about any of that. Commander, you've received a new message at your private terminal. Ah, I see here. You changed my life. There are to to Sony give me contact information. Huh. I don't know who Jarrett is. Oh, it was one of the guys I, I kept alive, the Solarians. Yeah, those guys. Those guys are interesting. So I wonder, do they have alternate costumes for... Okay. Both of these are fucking trash. Oh, dude, you can wear glasses? Holy shit. This guy is really going to be CSI Miami. Uh, okay, you don't get one either. Uh, so we're missing two more. So we're pretty close. Uh, let me think about... Does anyone else want to talk? I guess I have to feed my fish. I don't know. I, mean, I should talk to the Justicar, though, just because, uh... She'll have some shit to give to me. Apparently I had a hamster here. Uh, where's the hamster? Because it's fucking dead now, so... So I'm, why am I still wearing the dress? Fuck, didn't I change that, like... Ten episodes ago. Yeah, what the fuck? I did. Apparently, I, I really like the dress. What can I say? Or the skirt, sorry. Yeah, where's the hamster at? I mean, I'm gonna guess it's not in the aquarium, so... <laughs> what the fuck? 
Oh, here we go. Space hamster. Is it dead? Oh, it's just not even in there. Wait, no, it's alive. Actually, you don't even have to feed it. Squeak. It just fucking squeak at me. Also, I've just made discovery. I didn't know I had my own personal bathroom this whole time. I actually, I just never knew that. I actually never looked at, uh oh. Oh, I, w I actually went on to the toilet. Slightly. How did I never notice this before? I mean, it doesn't really look like a door, to be fair. I didn't even realize I was there. Alright, cruise quarters. Where do you poop on the Enterprise? Port observation? Isn't this the one for her? Yeah. The one I don't care about? Alright. Shepard. What are your impressions of Miranda and Jacob? Jacob is an earnest young man. Events will either forge him into a great man or utterly destroy him. Miranda is undoubtedly a hard woman. I respect her strength and determination. She carries many burdens and doesn't share them with others, as it should be. How do you think our mission is going? Building our forces is a good strategy. However, the time to strike is coming soon. Do you have any suggestions about using some of the resources we've gathered? I believe I can use some of them to increase our fuel reserves so we can explore further. Shall I tell you what is required? Show me what it would take. Uh, yeah, we can do that. Where is that? A ship enhancements. Yeah, that works. Shepard. How are you? I've spent much of the last 400 years on my own. It is nice to have a colleague to chat with. I may be rusty at it, however. If you are patient, I would love to talk. How much do you know about our mission? I know that I've sworn an oath to follow you, and that you seek to destroy the Collectors. That is enough for me. You don't want to know why the Collectors need to be fought? When you live by a code that compels you to harsh action, you learn the dangers of curiosity. If I must kill a man because he has done wrong, do I really wish to know that he is a devoted father? I'd like to hear more about the criminal you were chasing on Nos Astra. I hope you will understand if I wish to avoid this topic. It is deeply tied to my code and beliefs. You might say it is personal. I need to know if this will impact the mission. It will not. What do you think of Cerberus? I've heard rumors, but learned long ago to form my own impressions. There is too much room for interpretation in the opinions of others. Why were you willing to work for Cerberus when you didn't have first-hand knowledge? I work for you, Shepard. Our methods may be different, but our goals are not. I should get back to work. It has been my pleasure, Commander. Alright, well, we've done it. So the Collectors did take New Canton? Yes, but my wife and daughter left in the nick of time. They're resting in San Francisco as we speak. That's great news. It is, but I knew a lot of good people in New Canton. Our mission has to succeed. Thank God Shepard's in command. Yeah, you just saw me walk through the door, fucker. I, I, I see. Fucking, you know, trying to get brownie points at the captain. Now you're gonna sleep on the fucking... Beside Jack on the fucking bottom of the ship, asshole. Wonder if uh, these guys have anything to say. Do you need something? Have a few minutes to talk. <laughs> Certainly. Holy shit. Okay, we're keeping these glasses on. They look so retarded that we need to keep these on them. You know, when I went looking for an assassin, I expected to get a badass. You seem more like a monk. In my experience, those who are truly dangerous don't act like they are. The Hanor trained my body for this role since I was six years old. You've been killing since you were six? Of course not. I didn't make my first kill until I was twelve. They were training me. 
I was not to be used and thrown away. I was an investment. You were a child, not an investment. I've given you the wrong idea. They valued me, yes, as a resource, but also as a person. They regretted their need for me. The Hanar? Excessively polite, worship the Protheans? They don't seem the type who'd train assassins. Every species trains assassins. The Hanar are only unusual in that they need other species to do the killing for them. They have a strong grip and natural toxins, but... Have you ever seen one move quickly outside of water? Or fire a gun? Why did your parents agree to this? The agreement was made under the Compact. It was an honor for our family. The Compact? We live on the Hanar homeworld because they rescued us, some of us, from extinction. We owe them our lives. That is the Compact. What exactly are the terms of the Compact? There are many things the Hanar can't do, even with mechanical aid. They ask Drell to assist them. The way you describe it, the Hanar sound like weaklings. Out here, they are. But if you could see them in the encompassing, the oceans of Kaje, you would see them differently. A stream of silver in the dark, looping, diving. So fast the eye can't follow. After, like the squeals of a child fighting against the water, they fly over the black of the sea bed like birds, plumed with the light of heaven. Okay, we gotta remove these glasses, because it's like we're looking at, like, close up and you don't see their eyes. This is the problem with the headgear that they added for literally every character in this game. Fuck. This can't be legal. They made your whole race into slaves. Don't insult me, Shepard. Anyone can refuse to serve. Few do. We owe our existence to the Hanar. We are proud to repay the debt. Why was your race going extinct? Overpopulation. That must sound trite to you. Humans developed mass effect drive before the problem became acute. Our homeworld, Rakana, had few resources. We hadn't even developed fusion power when the soil began to fail from overuse and pollution. The Hanar found us a century ago. They sent hundreds of ships, evacuated thousands of us. Billions more had to be left behind. What's the state of Rakana now? Do you read your philosophers? A man named Thomas Hobbes. When all the world is overcharged with inhabitants, and the last remedy of all is war, which provideth for every man by victory or death. As Rakana died around them, my people slaughtered each other for mouthfuls of water, crumbs of food. But you don't kill for the Hanar anymore. You're freelance. What changed? I was asleep for a long time, yes. I paid no attention to what my body was asked to do, but then... A laser dot trembles on the skull. One finger twitch, he dies. Then, the smell of spice on the spring wind. Sunset-colored eyes defiant in the scope. The laser dances away. My apologies. Drells slip into memory so easily. Was that one of your assassinations? Uh, yes. Perhaps we can discuss it later. I've wasted too much of your time. Yeah, we gotta remove the glasses, unfortunately. Uh... Man, they ruined their perfectly own good game, like, in this shit. Like, what the fuck? If we have time, I'd like to go to Ilium and relocate my sister's family. Can you tell me more about relocating your sister? My father is after my sister. I've kept her hidden for years, but his agents uh, have tried. We already her. did this one. He's too close. I need to relocate my sister's family before it's too late. I right, see the ass shot. There we go. That's what we came here for. What do you need me to do? My father. Okay, we already did this. This is all we only came to watch ass. That's all we did. Uh, mission successful, guys. Now, now to go back up to the the, the new bathroom that I've just discovered on my uh, <laughs> captain's deck. You know, to take care of some business. Never know. Alright, how about this guy? Shepard, I need something to talk to you. I don't know. I'm listening. What's the issue? Something is wrong, Shepard. I feel wrong. Tense. I just want to kill something with my hands. More so than usual. Like it's not my choice. Like I just want to... I don't know. See? Why do that? What's wrong? I will not tolerate outbursts on my ship. Get a hold of yourself. I'm trying. When we're moving, fighting, there's no problem. 
But here, my blood makes noise. It's screaming. I've got no past to lead me. The tank gave nothing about itching plates and losing control. I want you in the infirmary. I can't have some Krogan disease running rampant. Your doctors only see victims of Krogan. My kind do not share with aliens. Not after the genophage. We won't find someone who's seen this. A Krogan my age would still be on the homeworld, Tuchanka. Joker can get us to the Krogan homeworld. I need everyone at their best. Thank you, Shepard. I don't like this. Fury is my choice, not a sickness. Okay, well that's that guy. Uh, I think I already talked to Jack about his problems. Garrus put some crazy tech into the main guns. It's almost doubled their power draw. But they seem pretty wicked. Indeed. Don't worry. A few tweaks to the forward capacitors, and the balance is back in line. Uh, I probably should end the episode-ish. I don't know. Yeah, we'll end it. I'll talk to Garrison, Jack, and then oh, fucking peace out. So take care of him and goodbye.